all right welcome back guys so let's look at the next component we need to create and so we've seen the colors component so we're almost done actually with our page ui components the next is the header um so basically everything we've been doing since has you know been working on the body okay so let me click on the header and so basically the header is just this part here the the top part of the page and then everything is the every other component is the content okay so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this header and let's shrink this up and then let's oh i can close the variables.scss now okay and let me just close my file explorer so we have some space so you see here that we have this you know minimal header it just has this you know um text here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight everything get rid of it and paste in the new header i copied so this is more robust first off let's save and see what happens so voila we've created a header and you see that the header is has this um primary color and of course the title here says about us so i'm going to have to change this to home okay and then i'll save now let's just take a look at some of the components in the header so ion header opening tag ion header closing tag and then we then have a toolbar that's where we set the color to primary and that's why we have this color here so if I, I can I can as well change this to our new purple color which we set in the previous video and that will change here to purple okay so that's good so the next component we have here is a menu icon so supposing we created a side menu theme or a side menu layout we would have had this hamburger menu here but, but because we didn't create that that's why the hamburger menu does not display okay but when we work on the next project we're going to see how that works okay and then we then have this back button so you see here we have back icon basically what this back icon is is when you like click to go to maybe the about page right the back icon will be here to help you navigate back to the home page so we're going to have to implement that in the about page so what i'm going to do is i'll just copy this okay so remember you don't need a back icon in your home page because where are you going to i'll copy this and let me go back to, let me locate my about us page so this is the about us page let's open it up and what we need is the about.page.html i'll click that and let's close up the file explorer and i'm going to replace the header with what we just copied so i'll come here i'll delete this and replace it with our new header and then i'll save so let me reload i should have changed the title to about us but let me, i can actually do that so let me just change this to about us a b o u t and us and then i'll save one more time all right so now before we test the page the about us page before we go to the about us page let's analyze this back icon so basically it has it's just a button really and it's the function of the button is to go back to a certain page okay and that's what we actually set here that default href means that if for any reason it does not know the previous page that it came from then it goes back to the home page okay but ideally if you click on about it takes you to the about us and as you can see we have a very nice looking menu here um header here sorry and if you click here it goes back to the home page so that's how it works now it doesn't make sense to have the back button on the home page so i'll go to the home page and i'll get rid of the back button so this is the back button back icon here and this is where it ends so i'll just come here and i'll delete it and save and just give it a moment to reload so you see here we have home and we don't have the back button because there's nowhere to go back to but when we click on about 
we now see that we have a back button and if we go back you see it takes us back to home so basically that's how you can actually set a header all you just need to do is to get the header from the um, our app toolkit and then modify it as you want okay all right so um, thank you so much for watching this video and we're going to work more with all of the components we've learned by building a project in the next section all right i think we have one more component before we go to the next section see you in the next video